Good afternoon. My name is Leah Pascado, and I'm the manager of supportive care here at Val. We want to recognize motherhood this for today's service. We want to recognize that this past Sunday was Mother's Day, and there could have been a lot of mixed emotions about this day. For some, missing a mom that has passed on. For some, it was also missing a mom while also being a mom there for her children. We want to recognize all these mixed emotions and let you know that we at Avow, we're always here for you to help you through whatever you're going through. And please take this time, take this memorial service as a way to honor your mother, whether she is living or has died. Moms hold a special place in teaching us about life, and we want to recognize that for the next few moments. Take this time as you need it to be at peace, to be in the moment, to be mindful of what's going on around you, all the music that you will hear, the words of encouragement that you will hear, and take inventory of your own emotions. And as we start today's service, 
let us enter into this sacred time together. I wish that heaven had visiting hours so I could just show up and bring the news that she's getting older and I wish that you'd met her the things that you'll learn from me I got them all from you can I just stay a while and we'll put all the world to rights the little ones will grow and I'll still drink your favorite wine and soon they're going to close but I'll see you another day so much has changed since you've been away well, I wish that heaven had visiting hours so I could just swing by and ask your advice what would you do in my situation having a clue how I'd even raise them what would you do cause you always do what's right can we just talk a while until my worries disappear tell you that I'm scared of turning out a failure remember that the answers in the love that we create so much has changed since you've been away visiting hours and I would ask them if I could take you home and I know what they'd say that it's for the best so I would live life the way you taught me make it on my own and I will close the door but I will open up my heart everyone I love will know exactly who you are Cause this is not goodbye, it's just until we meet again So much has changed since you've been away Good afternoon. When I think of a caregiver, I think of a mom. I think of my mom and many moms that are out there. But there are more to caregivers than, than just a mom. Mom wears many hats. And you quite possibly may be a caregiver. And we thank you. God of love, as a caregiver, I need the grace to be loving even when I do not love and all that I am asked to do. It is extremely difficult to watch the one I love slowly lose their ability to care for self and to witness their pain of illness. More is demanding of my time, and sometimes there just isn't enough time that in a day to tend to all the needs to be done. Help me prioritize my day with being present to our loved ones as I care for their needs and wants. Ultimately, at the end of the day, when I lay my head down on my pillow, I want to say, I lived this day with love. God of mercy. Some days I need mercy for myself as much as for the one I am caring for. Can I forgive myself for not doing everything perfectly? Can I forgive my loved one for not remembering to be safe as they strive, one, for not remembering to be safe, to maintain their independence. Can I be forgiving 
when my fear of losing them conflicts with their fear of losing their own independence. It is then when I need patience to walk gently with our loved one. My fear of the unknown future causes me to be reactive at times. Help me trust the plan for them. Teach me, mold me to embrace the fragileness of the human body and to let go of expectations I have towards them. Who needs my assistance? Whatever I do for another, I want to wrap it with kindness, compassion, and authenticity. God of justice, empower me to be generous as I share in caregiving for my loved one. Let me give to them out of a place of abundance so their spirit will be nourished. Help me to voice, be a positive voice for our loved one when society discounts or minimizes theirs. In these moments, when my spirit is dry and my body is tired, empower me to seek help that I can deliver quality care and respect at all times. God of providence, I need to remember that I am called upon to only do what I can. As I care for my loved one, grace me with the trust to rely on you as each day unfolds. Give me the strength to be strong in these times when my loved one becomes weaker and needs increase. Give me clarity of vision for them as their ability to, to think clearly eludes them. When my vision is clouded by fatigue and frustration, give me respite moments so I will regain new energy to provide the care needed. Creator God, thank you for the sacredness of this ministry to be a caregiver. It is truly one of the most challenging and gratifying opportunities in my life. The days I want to return to a sense of normalcy are the days that my spirit needs to be fed. In the midst of caregiving, I turn to you to fill my soul with what is needed for the moment. Only you know the path that is marked out as I walk the journey with my loved one. Help me to trust you. May my caregiving be a blessing to the one I love and thank you for the blessing I have received as their caregiver. You are the source of all life and grace, and I cannot do this alone. Thank you. Nothing without you 
our wings moms thank you for sharing this time with us thanks for sharing your grief journey with us here at about if time is right for you right now to reach out and get the support you need on your grief journey please don't hesitate to reach out to us at about we're here for anyone in our community who may be suffering a loss we can offer short-term bereavement counseling, and we have groups, we have adult bereavement, we have about kids that serves kids from five to 17, we've got events, camps, things to really draw the community together to normalize our grief and to share in support of one another. Please go to our website at avowcares.org to see the many, many services that are available for you during this time of grief. Thank you for being with us during these moments. And in conclusion, let's pray. Thank you, God, for all mothers, for all mothers who are living and who, all mothers who have passed on before us. Thank you for all the lessons that they have taught us and for all the lessons our moms teach our children each and every day. We also want to pray for all those who are transitioning from life into death as we speak, for all of the many people who are going to be affected by this loss, for all the family members. We also want to pray for the nurses, the doctors, the social workers, the counselors, music therapists, massage therapists, art therapists, all those who are caring for these people, for our loved ones, all caregivers. Please give all caregivers the patience and love that they deserve. We also want to pray for our world leaders that they make correct decisions in bringing us peace. For all of this, we pray. Amen.